Hi, this is Samuel Collins, your coding and billing expert for the H.J. Ross Company and specifically the H.J. Ross Network. Welcome to my weekly update for chiropractic coding. This week we're going to discuss what's happening with United Healthcare and denials that are occurring because it says you are missing a modifier. This of course pertains to physical medicine codes. What has happened? Well, if you aren't aware, United Healthcare made a provision, this is actually about a year and a half ago, that they have a requirement for all physical medicine codes to be billed with specifically with the modifier GP. That's G as in George, P as in Paul. This modifier is now a requirement for all claims to United Healthcare that are for physical medicine services. So that includes all the codes from 97010 all the way through 97799, including, however, the electric STEM code that is G0283. So if you have received a denial for United Healthcare because you're missing a modifier, the likely reason is that you didn't include modifier GP. All claims to United Healthcare or their affiliates, which would include Optum Health and UMR, will require this modifier GP. If you fail to have it, it will be denied. Note this is in addition to any other modifier that might be necessary, such as modifier 59, when you need it for, for instance, massage or manual therapy. The good news is the order of modifiers doesn't matter. Whether you put the GP or the 59 first doesn't matter. Just simply make sure both modifiers appear. So again, for United Healthcare, the reason for denials for physical medicine is if you've been missing using the modifier GP. As a quick note, this modifier GP also applies to Medicare claims. Now, Medicare, of course, does not pay chiropractors for physical medicine, but you need it in order to get a proper denial to bill a secondary. This also applies to claims for the VA. So I'm gonna recommend for all of you, if you have not been to a seminar with us recently, it's probably time to get yourself updated. Our upcoming programs will include not only all the changes for ICD-10, but also CPT that will change next year as well. So I'm gonna encourage you to take a look at the website, look at the dates that are upcoming. They will be virtual, but live, and they will have continued education for over 30 states. So take a look at your state. They are upcoming and will of course be after first of the year. If you need more up-to-date help day to day, make me part of your office. Join our network where it allows you to call me, email me or fax me on an unlimited basis for up to a year on any question that comes to coding, billing and documentation. H.J. Ross Company, we want to be your resource. We want to make sure that you're always billing properly, getting reimbursed what you're supposed to. I wish you well, and I'll see you next week.